last time we talked about how in Islam there's not really this us versus them mentality and like you even kind of alluded to this thing that we're maybe all related or you know connected holistically I mean that just blew my mind do you mind like if we talk about that some more sure. yeah for sure uh, and it starts really with us understanding uh, in the faith narrative and as Muslims we understand that Islam didn't start with the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings upon him contrary to what many people even including yeah, yeah. some Muslims believe Islam started with Adam, peace and blessings upon him, coming to earth. And that concept that the faith of submission to one God is from the beginning of, of the human family being on earth is really core to understanding the faith. Okay. And that concept, is, it means that as a human family, we're on earth for a purpose. Right. And Adam was sent here for a purpose, to care for earth to elevate it, to care for all beings on it, to care for its well-being. And as a result, that those who follow in the footsteps of Adam and his lineage that he taught, okay. the message of God, are those who will be elevating earth. And so the point of Islam, mm -hmm. which means submission, is to reconnect back, to submit to that purpose, to submit okay. to the existence of God, submit to his being, and to submit to the purpose he put us on earth for. Our souls are not created just for earth. Our souls, we believe, exist pre-time. You're talking about our souls, you're talking everybody, humanity. Every, you, uh, yeah, like, as okay. a human family, all, right. all our souls, and this is in the Quran, before time were, were taken from the stock of Adam. And, and we actually all stood in front of God's existence and, and he bared us witness to his existence and we all bowed to his existence, accepted his existence and accepted the purpose he's giving us to come to earth with. Our role is to re-inspire everyone who so sort of falls away from that as a human family, seeing each other as a human family, and not judging one another, not generalizing, but seeing each individual for who they are, not judging them, generalizing them for their tribe or their yeah, ethnicity so, or their religion. So, I mean, so you're you're a Muslim, I'm not a Muslim, and, right. but somehow we're all, you know, a family. Exactly, <laughs> you're my brother, all right. uh, you know, and our purpose for each other is to remind one, one another to goodness, so my, my goal isn't an evangelical goal for you to have to believe in Islam ex mm -hmm. exactly. Though I would love for you, because of my conviction, I'm transparent, sure, sure. that I believe this is what's best for you. But that's for you to figure out, that's for yeah, you to yeah, discover. Yeah. And the best way I can help you discover that is to see my example, is mm. to see what it does for me in my life. I get that. And for me to continue to help you, and you help me, do better in our lives. Mm. Uh, with the decisions we're making. And those decisions, I don't always have to bring you back to because God said. Sure, sure, sure. Right? So freedom of religion is absolutely core because God says, لا إكراه في الدين قد تبين الرجل من الغي, which means there's no compulsion in faith. Truth is apparent from falsehood. So there's no reason for, if someone believes their conviction is in truth, there's no reason for them to coerce. There's no reason for them to force. Yeah. All that needs to happen is to allow peace to take place, to allow freedom of expression and freedom of, of explore, exploring to take place and people will come to truth. Like if this freedom for religion thing like is, is the way you're describing it, that's a totally American idea. In fact, <laughs> in fact, you say that, in fact, you know, American Muslims are, or I, I personally and, and many American Muslims believe that out of all the nations on earth today, the most the, the closest constitution, the closest setup to the mm -hmm. protections that the Prophet, peace and blessings upon him, offered in his constitution is what exists in America today. That's fascinating. And, and maybe some other nations, but, but really what we have in terms of what we're protecting, what we're offering for people who become citizens of our land or residents of our land in America is, is much closer to what the Prophet, peace and blessings upon him himself did especially when we talk about the Constitution right, right, and right. in the Declaration of Independence, those documents are through and through fully aligned to the prophetic guidance and to the guidance that was given to humanity since the beginning of time. I mean, so it almost sounds like, you know, the, the, the Muslim way of doing things, you know, being a better Muslim is like being a better American. That's exactly it. That, and that's really the message that we try to... We got to get this message out there. This is great. Like, more people need to understand this. So part of the reason there's so much confusion about Islam today is that so many of us are taking all of our information directly from the media. Probably a better way is to talk to a Muslim. And so that's what we're inviting you to do. Get your video camera out and talk to a Muslim. It doesn't have to be a professional video arrangement like we've got going on here. Take your iPhone, take your Android, videotape yourself having a conversation with a Muslim. Upload it online, use hashtag talk to a Muslim. Tell us about this conversation, the questions that you have, your real questions. We're gonna go through all of them. We're gonna share the best on our social media channels. We're all here trying to figure out what the truth is. Hopefully doing this together, that's exactly what we're gonna find.